to the channel if you're new to the channel and welcome to the channel in this video we've got this gorgeous early 90s bright orange charvet with a split neck and other problems uh, so let's get on with the repair and see how we get on okay so I'm gonna take the neck off I'm gonna take the tuners off so we can tackle this a bit easier so here we go okay just whip the neck off and interesting interestingly there's a some writing in there it says I think it says Simon Ford with a number R8961403 C. I don't know whether that was the guy that inspected the guitar or built the guitar or the guy that owned the guitar at one point. I don't know. But interesting nonetheless. If you know, let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Okay, so the neck is off, tuners are off, so we can get a better look at what's going on. I don't know if you can see this very well, but we've got a split there. I'm just trying to get some more light. Um, which I can prise apart. So I should be able to, if, as long as I don't snap it right off, I don't want to snap it right off. Um, squeeze the glue in there as much as I can. And also, by doing that, the fretboard is slightly coming away there. So again, I might be able to squeeze some glue into there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice clamping this first. And then we're going to get some glue in there, clamp it together the best we can. Oh and hopefully that will be okay and then we'll clean all this up i mean you'll still be able to see it but it won't be terrible i mean this is a satin finish on the back of here so i could do some sanding and refinish that uh, but we'll see how it goes if we can get it to play and get it to work then that's going to save us about three to four hundred pounds i looked at replacement necks and they're selling these necks are selling for about three to four hundred pounds which we don't want to do if we can help it so uh Let's have a go. Right, so I've managed to squeeze quite a lot of glue down into this crack. You can actually see it starting to come out the other side, so I'm confident that the glue's got in there. And then when we pull this together, you can see the glue squirting out. So it's um, it's nicely in there. I just need to get some more in here, and then we're just going to clamp it. The best way I've discovered is just get our two pieces of wood right across where the holes are for the tuners and right across here. And we're just going to clamp that flat by pushing down on that with the clamps it's pulling it all together and, and that's it it's about basically all we can do with this I mean like I say it's worth an attempt to try and get this to to go back together and be strong so it can be used um, you're gonna have all these cracks in the paint and everything a lot of these are just surface cracks but this one's gone all the way through maybe it took a knock or something but I don't know that could be quite a nice Quite a nice look for it I suppose uh, but we'll see how it goes the main thing is to get this to straight and get the fretboard down so we can actually use the neck um, so yeah let's do that okay so I've got it all clamped up so we've got this clamp here bringing downward pressure that way which is flattening the whole thing out and then we've got another clamp coming across sideways there which is pulling it in from that direction and you can see the big old, if we can get in there, the glue is a little bit poking out there, so it is working, squeezing it all together. So just leave this now for overnight, 24 hours, and then I'll see if it's worked. We'll have a look tomorrow.
right, next one, <clears throat> strung the whole thing up and I've set it up and everything and the repair is holding. Lovely, got no issues with any of that at all, so that is really good. The playability is lovely. It's got a really flat 80s style neck, really thin. It's really good. I had to level out a couple of the frets over here, but they're all done now. And it's all absolutely gorgeous. I might not give this back. <laughs> anyway, but I think there is some uh, issues with the electrics. So we're on the neck. And we've got sound. Put it onto the next position. And it's all a bit. Sounds like it just needs a good old clean in there. But the volume knob does a silly thing. Hang on, let me just turn that down a bit. But it goes up. And then goes past it. I don't know whether that's on purpose or whether it's a broken pot. But you can kind of. It kind of notches off and back round again. I don't know whether that's a feature or what. But, or whether it's a cool tap, I don't know. But uh, we'll, we'll dive inside and have a look. Right, so here we are inside. Um, and it all looks okay. I'm just wondering. If we just put some cleaner in there whether it will come back to life, so we'll give it a go. A little bit of switch cleaner. Spray it on the contacts. This is run out. And if I can get it in the pot as well. Come on. A little time. So. Wiggle them up. It's not cracking now. See what that does. I love this design where you've got no scratch plate and you can get to the uh, electronics from the back without taking all the strings off a lot less hassle so we got yeah that's done it that has done it I think. So that's all that was. That was an absolute dream of a repair there. It's just been left for so long, it's just dirty contacts. So all I need to do now is finish polishing up the body. I'm not getting all the scratches out because it has got some scratches. Obviously, we're from playing and stuff like that, but I have polished the front of this a bit. Um, just, to, just to bring out the colour, really. Um, it does have some chips and stuff on it and some scratches, but I think it will add to the character. Um, I will speak to her when I give it back and say... Um, I can I could, I could sand this down and refinish that, and we could, find, if we, you know, we could get one made or find a Charvet decal if she wants to. But I think the cracks in in the finish on the headstock just just matches the whole guitar and the age of the guitar and everything. So for me, I'd leave that as character. Uh, but the actual repair, oh, there goes my switch cleaning down the back. You can hardly see it at all. I'm going to put a, a, some more resin on there, just one more coat but you can hardly tell that's got any splits in it whatsoever. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, we've managed to save this guitar and bring it back to life. The replacement neck would have been 400 quid, but I think we've done it. <laughs> <laughs>